So I was the department chair of computer science at Rutgers. It was an interesting moment because instead of hanging around with other computer scientists, I was suddenly hanging around with the other department chairs in the physical sciences. And um, one of the things that I discovered was I didn't feel like I had a lot of, in common with scientists, mm. but then I met a sculptor. And I was like, oh yeah, he sees the world the way that I see the world. Mm. So for me, a lot of it is I like learning about things and then figuring out how to incorporate them into making something, right? So in computer science for me, it's like, oh, here's a new algorithm. What can I do with that? Mm -hmm. right? What what does that enable me to do that I haven't been able to do in the past? And if it's a thing that like doesn't really enable me to do anything that I hadn't, that I'd already been able to do or hadn't been able to do, that's not interesting. But if it's like, oh, this opens a door, this, this is now a new set of, of, of capabilities. And this is what I was hearing from the, the sculptor is, is that he would look at new materials and he would say, oh, how can I work with that? Does light pass through that? If light passes through that, does it, does it change the light in an interesting way that I haven't been able to experience before? And just hearing the way that he sees new things in the world, I'm like, that, that's me. That's how I see things too. Though, of course, it's not making art. <laughs> it's like making algorithms, but like at some deep level, obviously that's an art.